Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. Today we will discuss about how to make ledger postings. Before knowing that, we will have to understand what actually is a ledger. I will discuss it briefly considering that the audience must be aware of it. You must be knowing that a ledger is the principal book of accounting system and contains different accounts where transactions related to that particular account are recorded. It is the collection of all accounts debited and credited in the journal proper and uh, various special journals like cash book and all. So first of all I'll start with the format of ledger. We have two sides for a ledger. One is the debit and another one is credit. On the debit side, we have date, particulars, journal folio, amount, and same on the credit side so will use this format and uh, how to make postings in the ledger we'll understand this with the help of an example this is the question given you can recognize that we have already made the journal entries in my last videos So, we'll continue with the ledger posting and I have already made the journal entries over here. So, we'll make the posting of each and every entry of this journal entry schedule. So, let us understand first how to start with it. Now if you are given with a journal then first of all you have to enumerate that how many ledgers you will be preparing. For that you have to calculate the number of new accounts that has been introduced in your journal. So let us first name them. To start with the first journal entry we have two new names here cash then capital the next one purchases and Manisha Coming to the third journal entry, we have stationery and then we have cash but cash has already been stated so we won't incorporate cash. So we come to the next one 
we have bank only new names would be incorporated new accounts would be enumerated here so please keep in mind that uh, repetition is not allowed here and then we have sales bank account and Priya account both has been already stated next one is Nidhi account next we come to uh, Nidhi and sales both has been already stated cash and Nidhi stated purchases stated then we come to Ritu account insurance insurance premium account bank account has been incorporated then rent account charity furniture drawings interest received cash and sales has already been incorporated then we have commission account telephone bill and salaries account now we have stated all the accounts that for which we have to prepare the ledger so we'll start with the cash account So name should be written on the top of the ledger cash account so coming to the first entry we have date of 1st of April 2012 in particulars now how to make the posting the first thing which you have to keep in mind that for the ledger account which you are preparing check for those names in your journal entry so in the first journal entry we have cash now the second step is to check whether that account has been credited or debited so here the account has been debited now the third step is if the account has been debited the entry would be on debit side and if the account has been credited then the entry would be on the credit side so since we have cash in our first journal entry and it has been debited so we have the entry on the debit side now what should be written on the particular section now we will write the account name which is the reason for your ledger to be debited or credited so here we'll write capital and the amount is 1 lakh and 50,000 we come to the next journal entry we don't have any cash 
in the second journal entry third journal entry we have cash account so first step was to find out cash so we have cash account then the cash account is credited so the entry would be on the credit side and the reason for that account to be credited is stationary so in particulars we will write stationary so the entry would be on 1st April 2012 on the credit side and the reason for it being stationary the amount of stationary would be mentioned here so now we come to the next entry we'll see the next entry again we have cash and uh, it's in the credit side so the entry would be on the credit side so we enter the date that is 2nd of April 2012 and the entry is uh, being done in the credit side the reason for that cash to be credited is your bank account so in particulars you'll write bank account and the amount is to be written is 35,000 which corresponds to the cash account in your journal entry so 35,000 and let's come to the next posting so we are searching for cash still so we don't have cash here we don't have cash in this journal entry don't have cash in this journal entry we have cash here here cash has been debited so the entry would be on the debit side it's, it's 8th of April 2012 entry would be on the debit side the reason for that being Nidhi and the amount is 14,000 which corresponds to the cash account in your journal entry so write the name Nidhi and amount to 14,000 mm, let's check if we have more entries related to cash okay so we have cash here cash on the credit side on 18th of April and reason for that being rent the amount is 2000 so entry would be on the credit side reason of that being rent and the amount is 2000 I guess let me check again yeah now we have cash here again the entry would be on the credit side cause cash account has been credited so write the date reason for cash being credited is furniture so write furniture in particulars and the amount 11,200 next we have cash again on the credit side and the reason for that is drawing account on 29th of April 2012 and amount is 5,000 so the date will be mentioned account which cause cash account to be credited is mentioned in particular 
and the amount for cash is mentioned. Coming to the next journal entry, we have cash on the credit side, so uh, rather debit side. So we make the entry on the debit side on 30th April 2012. And the reason for cash being debited is interest received, and the amount is 1200. So we make the entry uh, rather posting. Interest received and the amount is 1200. We come to the next entry. Cash is again being debited. The reason is sales. So the amount is first we mention the date, then We'll mention the reason for cash being debited, that is sales. The amount would be 2300 and we have cash in our last journal entry. Here cash is being credited so the entry would be on the credit side and the reason for cash being credited is salaries so she would be salaries in particular and the amount would be 12,000. Now we'll count the number of journal entries which was which were related to cash. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all the entries has been posted now in our account and uh, this is your ledger for cash account till date. Now similarly we can prepare for capital account. I'm doing one or two of the ledger account here and uh, I hope you'll do the rest so for capital account there is only one entry I guess that is capital is credited so the entry would be on credit side the reason for capital being credited is cash. We'll mention the date first. We'll mention the particulars that is cash. This is because this is the reason for capital being credited and the amount would be one lakh and fifty thousand we don't have any more entry related to capital now so we'll have to finish this and we'll mark each and every ledger which is completed we can mark it out it means if you are using a notebook you can just stick it out next we come to purchases
format remains the same that's why I'm just copying it so now we are looking for journal entries which contains purchases account so we have this first one purchase is getting debited because of Manisha on 1st of April 2012 and amount is 36,000 so the entry would be on the debit side cause purchase is being debited in your journal entry the reason is Manisha so we write the name of Manisha in particulars and the amount is 36,000 which corresponds to your purchase account entry in the journal entry now we have purchases purchases here on 10th April 2012 and again it has been debited the reason for that is Ritu so we'll write the date it's 10th of April 2012 it's because of Ritu the purchase account being debited and the amount for purchase account is 20,000 for that particular journal entry now we okay we have this time purchases in credit side so the entry would be on the credit side the amount would be 1500 and the reason would be charity so the entry would be on credit side the reason for purchases to get credited is charity and the amount is 1500 now we don't have any entry for purchases so we have completed this ledger also I have not balanced the ledger yet because uh, normally you'll have uh, it in continuation for other months also so we don't uh, generally finish the ledger at the end of uh, every month so it is prepared for a whole year so I have not balanced it uh, we'll discuss how to balance it uh, later on in our later videos and uh, till now you can just prepare the other ledgers in the same manner as I have prepared these three uh, you only have to keep in mind that first you have to check the journal entry check the account is present like uh, the ledger account which you are preparing is present in that particular entry or not if it is present then the second step is to check whether it is on the debit side or the credit side if it would be on debit side the entry in the ledger account would be on the debit side and if it is on the credit side the posting would be on the credit side so now once you got means so where it would be posted on the debit or the credit side then you have to check for the amount the amount would be like that one which corresponds to your ledger account that you are preparing that means if you are preparing cash then amount would be cor uh, written that would corresponds to the cash account and in particular you'll write the account which is the reason for cash uh, to be credited or debited so this is all we have for this video thank you for watching this video